Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today on Stubble Made Steel. I figured I should get back to business and uh, finish up some of these reviews with my aluminum uh, lightweight razor series. And back to business, here's the uh, new carved bison. And I figured another great aluminum razor that's been around for a while that a lot of people might have or have used is the Razor Rock Lupo. This is equivalent to the 0.58. Now that they have it in stainless steel, they give a measurement. And the aluminum one is supposed to be about 0.58 gap. They don't give any uh, exposure stats, so you know, looking at it when I laid a, a straight blade across the edge of it, it does seem like it has positive exposure, but unfortunately we don't have a measurement. So a little bit of a, a guess there. Uh, the bison in comparison is a 0.71 gap versus a 0.58, and then this does have positive exposure. It's 0 0.06 millimeter positive exposure. Um, Weight-wise, they're very similar. This is 33.5 grams, and I weighed this today for the first time with the handle. It's 32 grams, so very similar. And uh, lengthwise, they're pretty much almost identical. They're they're right about 3.75 inches, uh, 3.8 inches overall. So let's uh, go ahead and get into it. Let me get rid of the soap here. Put it away. New soap that I've wanted to try is this uh, Jordan's brand uh, that I've been uh, using. I have uh, the, they make a lemon one. This is the cola one. And I also have an apple pie one that's really, really great. So let's get going. If you've ever had some gourmet sodas by a company called Sprecher, they make a gourmet cola soda that uses real cola nut. And to me, that's a lot what this scented soap smells like, is that gourmet soda or real cola nut scent. And I've been really, really impressed with it. It is a vegan soap. And what really impressed me is I've tried some other vegan soaps, not to point any fingers, but I just didn't feel that they had some of the cushion that I was used to with some of the towel-based soaps. And with this brand, so far, I've been really, really impressed with it. It definitely has some really top shelf cushion where if you didn't tell me that it wasn't a vegan soap, being honest, I don't know if I would have known. They had a really awesome deal and yeah, they often have some really cool sales. So just keep an, keep an eye out, but they make the cola, the lime, they make a lemon. The lemon is fantastic too. It smells like a, a Italian lemon Isis. You make a blueberry muffin one. They make a black licorice, watermelon. They came out with the newer, um, I can't think of the name, but kind of like a colony sophisticated type scent. They have that one, and then there was a vanilla bourbon one that they just came out with as well. All right, so for today's blades, I've got the Gillette 7 o'clock, the green, the uh, super stainless blades. I think this is the uh, you know, one, shave one, or, or you know, depending on how you want to look at it, because they both did a half a shave last time. <laughs> so let's go. This is my with the grain pass. So if you missed some of my other videos, I did a review on just the bison by itself. I've also compared it now to the Timeless Aluminum. And today we're going to do the Razor Rock Lupo Aluminum. Bison rinses out very nicely. It's got huge lather channels. If you didn't see my other videos on it, let's go ahead and grab the razor rock.
Man, that soap smells so good. I don't know how to explain it, but it almost is like they captured the fizziness part of a soda in there as well. Yeah, they do consider just a cola, but I think uh, comparing it to just a plain old Coca-Cola is not doing it justice. It's fancier than that. Both felt very nice on that pass. That was with the green. Let's go across. Got my Yachty Professional brush today. This is a 30 millimeter synthetic. They both definitely have a positive blade exposure. I feel a little bit of blade. I think the Lupo is maybe a little bit easier to work with. The angle's a little more adjustable. The blade feel doesn't necessarily change at all with the Lupo. Whereas with the Car Bison, I feel like I can ride the top cap and smooth it out a little bit more. Whereas with the Lupo, it doesn't really do that. It's basically got kind of one one feel to it, no matter what you do with the uh, angle. But I find that the shave angle is easier to work with and find. The Bison, you're a little more locked in. Somewhat more like a, maybe a Henson that has the angle more built into the head. Not quite as much as that, but more so than the Lupo anyways. So if you like a razor that you can play with the angle a little more, maybe you'd like the Lupo a little bit more. Switched up sides. Whoopsie. When I had bought these Jordan soaps, they didn't have any splashes at that time, but I've noticed that they recently have splashes added to their lineup. I'm waiting to try the lemon. I have the lemon splash because I really, really like the lemon. So it smells awesome. It smells like just like an Italian lemon isis.
said it before, I'll say it again. That's definitely where the bison tends to shine or really kind of edge out the other razors sometimes I've noticed is that I don't want to say that it's rough with the with the grain pass, but it definitely shines on the across the grain and against the grain passes for sure. Not really much there. Not really much there, but we'll go ahead and do a third. This soap smells just fantastic. I really just can't get over how they got the fizziness in there. And now I really got to find that Sprecher's brand gourmet sodas. They make a cream soda, they make that cola nut one, and they made some other one that was just so damn good. I'm gonna have to find them again, see if I can find a place that has them. There used to be a place here called Rocket Fizz that had all sorts of vintage old school candy and all sorts of gourmet sodas. I like trying birch beers, root beers, and cream sodas. And they had all sorts of good ones that I had never had before. But that Sprecher brand was definitely one of the ones that stood out as wow. Really good stuff. Very nice. Wow, those two razors are really, really close. Really, really close. I would say it seems like there's more on the bison side and the Lupo side. All right, let me get rinsed up. I'll be right back. I got my witch hazel on and I don't have the splash that goes with this but I just picked this up it's uh, McDuff's birch and root and uh, you know kind of root beer uh, scented so I thought it kind of paired well with that cola scent this is a really sophisticated it, it's got the most crazy profile it does have birch root in it uh, that gives it the kind of birch beer or root beer style smell to it but the profile is way more complex than that but when you smell it wow it really smells like root beer so I thought that'd be a cool pairing so let's get back to more important things so how did I like the two razors head to head? Which do I think did better in this uh, aluminum shootout? Boy, I gotta say, I haven't used the Lupo in a while. And uh, you know, it's always interesting when you haven't used a razor in a while, how you think it's gonna perform. 
So these both, as always, each razor kind of has its areas where it, shine, where it shines. As I mentioned in some other videos with the Bison, it definitely has somewhat of like a squeegee type uh, feel on the skin. It has a unique feel to it. You know, I don't know if it's with the, uh, the aluminum, there's just the shave angle or what it is, but it, it definitely has a unique feel to it. And it's hard to explain, uh, especially on the first with the grain pass where the, I feel that the bison really excels and smooths out is with the across the grain and against the grain, very pleasurable, especially on the sensitive area like the mustache pass and on the neck area here against the grain. Uh, you know, I definitely do like the bison there. It's definitely smooth on my problem areas there. Uh, I will say that the Lupo had a tiny bit more blade feel, but not much. But what I do find is that it is a little bit easier. The angle, it doesn't seem like you can hold this almost at shallow or steep angles, and it seems like it always has the same cutting experience. You know, on that same note though, I find that if you do ride the top cap and go with more of a shallow angle, that the bison does smooth out. Where it is the Lupo, if you find a two blade positive exposure, it's pretty much always like that. There's no smoothing it out per se with, with the shave angle, playing around with it. You know, weight wise, they're very, very similar. 33.5 grams versus 32. One of my biggest gripes on the Lupo would be there's no knurling on the handle. You know, it does have these uh, ridges here, but when wet or soap on your fingers, like right now, you know, it was off the counter there, it is hard to hold on to. Whereas the Bison, fantastic. That perfect, perfect combo of not overly sharp where you feel like it almost want to cuts your fingers or anything, but fantastic knurling. Really, really easy to get good purchase on it. I do like the siping on the sides here. It makes it easy to hold on to when you want to open and close it. Um, you know, I don't really care that the Lupo has the, uh, the blade tabs are covered, which is great, but I don't like how they rounded this off on the um, stainless steel one. They kind of redesigned that and it is flat on the ends. And that was one of the things that kind of did uh, intrigue me to try the stainless steel one because to laying on the, on the counter, you definitely have to lay it like this. You can't lay it upright if that bothers you at all, but just something that I noticed, thought I'd pass it along. Uh, lather channels. The Lupo does rinse out easily, but it is definitely a smaller one uh, than these. You know, if you're the type that shaves every couple of days, uh, these are kind of mild razors anyways. I don't know if either of these would be a great choice, but I would have to think that the Bison would be a little bit easier to rinse out. Uh, color choices, you can get the Lupo. This is uh, what they would consider a gold, and it's like a cross between a gold and a, and a yellow or a mustard color, to be honest with you, color-wise. Uh, they also offer in black and then a silver. Um, I got my dad the silver one, and it's not like a raw silver. It's more like anodized silver. The Bison, I think they offer it in both this green, blue, they have like a great glacier that's like blue to here and then fades into like a, um, a matte finish. Then they also offer in a couple other different finishes. So if you're looking, I think they make the yellow, a red, blue, the green, that by the glacier one. So a lot more color options with the, uh, the Bison. Price wise, they're pretty big difference. The Lupo did go up in price, but even still it's I think $39.99, so $40. Whereas the Bison was about double that. I want to say it was about 80, 85, something along those lines, if memory serves me right. So big price difference. Um, you know, feel in the hand, the, the, definitely the Bison feels a little bit better. I definitely like the grip and feel of the handle much more so than on the Lupo. Being honest, when I do use the Lupo, I usually switch to one of my other Razor Rock stainless steel handles. And I really like that combination as well. So depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a unique color and you like grip better, I definitely think the Bison's where it's at. If you have those sensitive areas on your neck or under nose area where you like a real sensitive uh, razor, more of a mild one, across the grain and against the grain, boy, this bison really hits at home in, in those particular regards. Whereas on this particular spot on my uh, right side of my neck, I've always found that the Lupo can be a little much. Today it was nice to me, but I, I find that the overall it can be a, a little bit much. Uh, I really love this uh, Jordan soap. If you haven't checked them out, really check them out. They have some really great soap sm smells. And of all the smells that I've tried in soaps, you know, these are more simpler scents, which I really, really like. This cola one's fantastic. The apple pie is absolutely fantastic. It smells like melted down apple pie in a, in a shaving tub. And then the, the lemon, uh, I can't say it enough. They nailed it out of the park with that one. A lem lemon Italian Isis all the way. So here, let's put this uh, splash on here. See how this smells. Oh yeah, that smells really good. So it's interesting because it definitely hits you in the face with the root beer smell in the beginning, but if you're familiar with their Canassus Explorer, which is like an outdoor foresty, piney type smell, it definitely has that kind of piney, foresty, fern type smell in, in the background for sure. Oh man, that smells really good. Nice burn to it, nice tingle. So all right, 
I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, probably the last video, unless everybody comments. I also have the Shield DE in aluminum razor, and then I also have the Above the Tie, the uh, SV90. If you guys really want to see, I can compare the Bison to one of those. If not, I might move into a different uh, razor series. I got some other razors coming that I thought I might review. I got a bunch of different gem razors. If anybody wants to see any of those, let me know in the comments what everybody wants to see next. Thanks for staying tuned. Take care.